Okay, great. So let's talk about problems at work. So Jasmine, let's start with you. So what problems do you have at work? Um, my work? Sometimes I think my work uh, is boring <laughs> because every year I uh, uh, teach the students, different, stu uh, different students, but the same uh same same contents same subjects so i feel boring <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, see. I see i see i understand i understand great and so and it's um how how can you make it more fun uh i try to uh teach students uh different subjects uh, for example, I uh, teach them uh, business law, but next semester I try to teach them uh, another, another, uh, another uh, law about marriage. Yes, so you can call it a civil, civil law. Civil law. Yeah. Okay. Civil, law. <laughs> civil law, business law, you know, this constitutional law. Wow, well that's great. That's great. That's a, that's a very good. So so you know, change it up. That's a great uh, great idea for on how to keep it more fun. Perfect. And now, Michael, let's go to Michael. What problems do you have at work? Uh, because I am a manager in my work, uh, it uh, it's a, a very complex question for me. And um, if uh, if I if I need to um, say one thing. Of course, I um, think uh, it's um, uh, fighting with my competitors, of uh, this fighting with my company's competitors, and um, and uh, reducing my uh, profit, uh, profit, uh, reduce my profit, and uh, I my <laughs> first of my <laughs> pay. And uh, the second thing, uh, I think uh, it's uh, a toxic people. Toxic. Yes. So what, what does what does that mean for you, a toxic person? Um, people who can make a pain for me or my team um, when they understand that it uh, that uh, it's a pain for me. Oh, I see. So you say instead of make a pain, I would say they could cause pain. Yeah, of course. They can cause pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's true. A lot, so, you know. Some people are like that. It's true. Okay, great. And we will talk more about that. So, so think of ideas you will share with your partner about toxic people. Okay, so that's a great point. And uh, that, so, thank you, Michael, for sharing. And now, Emily, what problems do you have as an artist uh, and as a singer? I have uh, some uh, difficulties uh, with sound engineers because they have their own uh, characters and sometimes you need to fit with them. I mean, just to find uh, the same taste of music or um, when people uh, want to express uh, their selves uh, through your music themselves yeah they want to express themselves through your music but you really need uh, for them uh to help you to show what you really feel through your own uh ideas and etc yeah so they yeah so they want to influence your music They're, yeah yeah. That's right. yeah. So in the past, how did you solve that problem? Okay, so how, imagine a, a situation and how did you do it to, to fix the problem? I mean, sometimes it's depend, uh, it depends on the day, for example, maybe like this person doesn't feel good or like the mood is off and um, you need to maybe to reschedule it. Or with some people, if uh, they are very, I don't know, uh, guilty and selfish, you just need to find another one. Yes, that's true. Sometimes that's the best solution. Okay, okay, great. So that's a great introduction, everyone. So it sounds like we will have a great uh, lesson today. Okay.
it will be very, very, so feel free to share your ideas and to be very open, you know, and to ask your partner, you know, questions, more, more information. Oh, why? Why is that? Don't tell me more about this. Oh, what do you think about this? Okay. So the key is communication. That is the key. Okay. So you can open the PDF. It's the same PDF that I sent you before. Okay. So if you already have it or if you printed it, that's okay. Okay. So the first one, I'm going to show you here kind of uh, the, the agenda for today. Okay. So first, we're going to talk about some quotes. Okay. Interpret the quotes. This is an easy, uh, you know, question. You know, some, a few questions here. We'll come back. We'll discuss these. Then we'll do two questions right here. Another mini conversation just to get your English working, get you thinking in English. Okay. Then we're going to uh, build some vocabulary, some really good vocabulary, very advanced, very technical and high class. So it's good. Okay. Some uh, phrasal verbs. Students love these because very practical and very specific. Okay. And, uh, and then we'll do, uh, then we're going to watch a video. Okay. Agree, disagree. You know, so this is a great exercise where you will say what your opinion is and then support it. So it's really good for for Jasmine, you're a lawyer, so you know that you have to support your position. Mm -hmm. And this is a great uh, situation for you to practice that. Then we'll watch the video and discuss and comment on the video together. Okay. Then another longer discussion, more specific. And then, um, and then we're going to have a role play. Okay. So very busy day, very, very busy session. Mm -hmm. Very practical. So let's start with the quotes. Okay. Very, with the quotes. So we're going to have two groups. Okay. And we'll create this. Okay. And perfect. Okay. So Emily, you can work with Michael on this one and I'll work with Jasmine. Okay. So just uh, join your partner and discuss these two quotes in number uh -huh. one. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, Danny. All right, Jasmine. So let's discuss these quotes. Okay. So tell me what you. So let's uh, let's start with the first one. Okay. What do you think the quote means? So try to use different words for yeah for that. Mm, the first one. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we all have this colleague who we hope quits his job so everyone in the office is happy. If you don't know any such person, quit your job. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm agree with it. So not uh, I'm, uh, I'm so, so just one, one, one uh, correction, not I'm agree, but I agree. Yeah, I'm agree with it. Okay. You agree? And so why do you agree with it, Jasmine? Uh, I think Mm, everyone must try their best to uh, get along with colleagues because they will be have a happier environment to finish job. Mm, but sometimes if someone uh, thinks everyone is, is, is good, maybe <laughs> this one have the, have the problem. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we must uh, think ourselves. Uh, if better, we have some uh, trouble. We have some questions uh, in uh, cooperation. That's right. That's right. Collaboration. And so, how? So you you think that some some people create troubles? How how can these people create troubles or problems? How can people oh, create trouble? Yeah, trouble for people. So what are some examples of, uh, you know, here it says, oh, you know, uh, some people, you know, they, uh, they're in the office or at work and other people don't like them. You know, they create trouble. What are some examples of what people do to create trouble? Yeah, uh, uh, when I uh, just enter the workplace, uh, I uh, graduated from the school 
uh, my all in my office there is a call there was a colleague um other people don't like her really <laughs> because she is she was not friendly to others um uh, but she didn't uh she didn't do any mistakes uh well, his um, work so she didn't yeah. make make any mistakes yeah she didn't make mistakes yes she didn't make any any mistakes uh yeah oh we just uh, don't <laughs> get along with her but uh her uh her work no energy her mm. work energy is uh uh there is uh, is good so um uh work is work <laughs> So you can say maybe her work performance. So, work so her, performance. her work performance is good. So she 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 does her job very well, but she's very negative maybe, and nobody likes her. Yeah. yeah, that's that's hard because she does her job and she's good at her job, but she's um you know maybe she doesn't help the work environment. And that can be a problem. So, um, so let's go to the next quote. Can you read the quote for me, Jasmine, please? Uh, I told my all my colleagues at work that I have a twin, so that when I see them in public, I don't have to talk to them. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell me about uh, that. I didn't. I didn't told my colleagues uh, like this. But I don't like to talk with my colleagues in uh, in the pub in public. <laughs> so I, I would use this one. So instead of I didn't say this, I would say I have never said this. I have never said this. Okay. okay. I've never said this to. And but you don't like to talk to them in public. Why don't you like to talk to your colleagues in public, Jasmine? <laughs> because in school, I swear uh, officially, mm -hmm. I swear uh, I wear suit, and uh, but uh, in the other times, I wear mm, very flexly, uh, short skirt. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them to see that. I see. So you have a different image. You know, and yeah. yeah, yeah, you dress differently. And yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, great. Great, great. So yeah, I'll, I'll share something with you right now uh, while we wait. So I think, okay. you know, that it, uh, for, the, for the first one, I think that it, it, it shows you like, oh, there's always one person, you know, and in the office, always one. If there's no, if there's no person in the office, then it means it's you. Like if you and and so, you know, the important thing I think is for people. It's not just about doing the, you know, doing your job like your colleague. It's about you know creating a good atmosphere and motivating others because you are a team. If everyone is happy, everyone is motivated, everyone has high energy, then everyone in the group will, will do better, will be happier, and they will work better. All right, everyone. Great. So let's hear some. Uh, okay, we're still waiting for. Okay, Emily and Jasmine are back. Great. So let's share just one idea from your conversation. It can be something that you said or something that your partner said, whatever you choose. Let's start with Michael. Uh, um, Emily and me um, agree uh, with, uh, agree the opinion that uh, communicate with person or colleagues or friends is more uh, interesting, positive and uh, important way uh, um, between uh, the stop these communications okay and uh, first of all we need to uh to try um uh the, to, to try to find a um, way positive way 
in the second way, of course, we, we need to stop communicate and um, start to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. that's right. So just a couple of things. Michael, so instead of Emily and me agree, you could say uh, Emily and I agree. Okay. Because it's the subject and me is, is the, uh, the object. Emily and I agree, good. And uh, that uh, communicating, communicating is important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. But very, very, very good, very good uh, explanation right here. And then Emily, your turn. Yes, uh, we discussed a lot of things uh, with Michael. It was very interesting. And I think that it's very important uh, to develop a strong uh, bond uh, between uh, co, co your co workers and uh, really to become friends. And if you have like some enemies, just like all the enemies uh, can help you to become closer to each other. But if you really uh, see the person that, uh, I don't know, affects uh, the air of the company, maybe to discuss it with the manager or director or your colleagues mm -hmm. uh, to find the peace or just like to quit your job or because I mean you can't uh, work if it's always bad. That's right. It changes you. You need to protect yourself. That's a great point, Emily. Yes, very very nice idea. So just one quick. You didn't make any mistakes. The only small thing is with pronunciation of colleagues. So not uh -huh. colleagues, but with the intonation on the first one, colleagues. 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 Good. 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 Perfect. Okay. Great. And uh, Jasmine, your turn. What was something that you we discussed? Uh, David told David told me uh, if everyone try their best to get along with others friendly and uh, had a high energy, they will uh, they will have a good atmosphere in the team. Uh, but uh, not everyone can do everything best, uh, so <laughs> that's that's it. That's right. Yes, we do have to do our best. We do have to do our best to, um, yeah, to contribute, to help the team. Okay, great. So that's what we're doing here in our, in our discussions. We always help each other. We discuss, we have nice conversations. So the next one, another mini conversation, more, a little bit more personal. It's number two. So the question is, how well do you get on? get on with your colleagues okay so let's first make sure that we understand what does get on mean who can tell me get on it's like a communication it, it is communication but what type of communication like positive um, communication positive communication yes positive communication friendly communication Okay, pretty much. Are you um, positive? Are you get along. exactly? Yes, so actually, um, that's a great point, Emily. Thank you for saying that because in America we say get along. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people get confused with get on. This is get on is UK, get along is US. Oops, get along is US. Okay, but they are both uh, correct. Okay, and we understand each other. We understand UK, they understand uh, US, okay? So just for you to know. So basically, are you friendly with your colleagues? And uh, have you ever experienced a difficult relationship okay, with a colleague, okay? So here, we want details. What happened, okay? What happened exactly? Tell your partner what happened, what, uh, you know, all the details, how you fixed it, what they did, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's go into another breakout room. Okay, so I'll work with Michael here. Okay, and um, and Emily, you can work with Jasmine for, on this one. Okay. Oh, I don't see how to join it. Really, you don't? You didn't get a notification? No. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, but actually, that's the wrong one, but.
Michael. Hi. <laughs> so, Michael, tell me, give me some more details. I mean, you already told me a little bit about uh, some some people, toxic people. So this will be a great I, opportunity for you to tell me more about this. So in general, how well do you get on or do you get along with your colleagues? Um, because uh, I work in sales and uh, I uh, have a lot of um, a lot of skills in communicate. This is not a problem for me. And of course, uh, start of uh, start of uh, start of all uh, is um, smart talk with everyone. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I have a book. Um, it, um, it knows uh, never eat alone. <laughs> oh, wow. so the name. So it's called Never Eat Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And uh, the, the general thing of uh, um, if you uh, have a breakfast, uh, dinner, and supper, you have a colleagues or partner or friends, and uh, um, with him uh, share uh, your breakfast or dinner. And uh, uh, and uh, if you smoking, you can smoke uh, <laughs> with uh, with uh, someone and uh, share your ideas, share your opinion, share your um, feeling. And of course, we need to um, to hear uh, someone mm -hmm. and um, and um, try to help, try to understand. Uh, ideas, uh, interesting uh, hobbies, and etc. of your mm, partner, of your friend, of your colleagues, and wow. <laughs> one of secret. <laughs> uh, and that's all. Great, great, great. Well, that's great. that's a great idea. And um, so, with me, you know, I'll share a little bit. So, you know, I I I have I'm an independent. You know, I have my own uh, little business. You know, so I don't have colleagues. I work for myself, but I have a lot of students, and I like to get on with my with my students because I think then the there's better learning if if we were friendly, you know, still professional but friendly and positive. And so I I get on with my um, my students, but I don't have any colleagues. Okay. Now, have you ever experienced a difficult relationship with a colleague? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so tell me, Michael, what happened in this uh, situation? Uh, I don't know, because I'm not focused on for this situation and then uh, didn't remember um, maybe all of situation uh, because I tried to <laughs> focus on, on positive things. And um, maybe two months ago, I um, started to um, understand one of my partner started to um, started to um, uh, to persuade me, mm -hmm. and um, started to um, started to. Um, uh, make cause a pain me mm -hmm. and uh, uh, after one or two situation I uh, told him that please stop because uh, I uh, I feel uh, myself uncomfortable and just, I just uh, I because I felt I, I told him all I, that I, yeah I felt uncomfortable I, th I felt uncomfortable me and um, but um, this person uh, didn't um, stop because uh, because <laughs> pain me. <laughs> Actually, no, this person didn't stop causing me pain. Me. Yeah, this, I'm gonna write it here. This person didn't stop, or maybe you can say instead of causing me pain, maybe you can say uh, bothering me. A better word. Bothering and. Um, Other means like maybe not like because cause pain is like very aggressive, you know. Okay. But bothering is kind of like they says thing, blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's very correct. And um, this is a small persuasion and 
small aggressive talk and uh, I feel it and I felt it and um, it's, it was very uncomfortable and I need to one or two days to um, to 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 think about the situation to um, react to to have a reaction of my thinking and uh, and I need two or three days of relaxing to uh, to start uh, live normally. <laughs> Really? Yes. Okay. So it was bad. It was a very bad situation. Yes. And uh, toxic people uh, make it um, especially. Mm. And, and um, they understand that I feel not good in this situation. And they, uh, they continue and continue to cause a pain. <laughs> mm. So in the end, did you uh, solve the problem? No, because uh, I try to understand person first of all, and <laughs> I, I I think that it's not for me. I think uh, this person uh, had a problems um, in this situation, and maybe two months ago um, we can refresh our. Uh, friend, our partnership, and maybe we we will uh, we won't uh, uh, have a problems with each other. So you can say uh, we refreshed our friendship. Yeah, yeah. Our friendship, our relationship. You yeah. know. Wow. Well, well, yeah. That's that's true. You know, sometimes you just need to sit down and and talk and be direct. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, or um, maybe um, make a pause of relationship. That's right. All right, great. So now we're going to go to the vocabulary. Okay, this is this is very important. You know, so with with the, these vocabulary words, the first point is to understand the word. Okay, the second point is to use it. Okay, so every time you understand it. It's two different parts. So one time as you read a word, oh, I understand it, but there's, it's very different to use it in a conversation, okay? So reading and understanding it when you see it is different from, from uh, experimenting with it. So that's why we want to really mm, memorize these and then use them, okay? So first we're going to just check these, okay? So we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do uh, Michael, Jasmine, Emily. So that'll be the order. So Michael will do first one, Jasmine here, Emily here. If you already did the homework, then it's fine. Okay. okay. So, um, so Michael, can you do number eight, please? Uh, his uh, constant complain complaining really gets under my skin. Um, um, so what does this mean? Gets under my skin. Um, Yes, it's, uh, I don't know, in English. <laughs> um, uh, irri irritate or upset someone. That's correct. That's correct. Very good. I don't know, synonymic of uh, gets under my skin. It's very, <laughs> it's very correct. <laughs> yes, it's like gets under your skin. So it's like, oh, like, oh it gets really, really uh, irritating, <laughs> really upsetting. So yeah, okay. So great, great one. Now, Jasmine, number two. Yeah. When you have a problem with someone at work, you have to be able to cross the divide. I choose the two. Establish a relationship and a build understanding with someone whose wills are different to yours. Yes, to cross the divide. It's like the divide is like, okay, you have this opinion, I have this opinion, and there's a divide, like a wall. But if you cross the divine, you're like, oh, okay. I understand why you think like this, okay? It's not always agreeing, but it's understanding. Okay, good. And uh, Emily, number uh, three. See, uh, it's important to develop coping mechanisms for stress and anxiety. And um, it fits, uh, find uh, ways to manage painful or difficult situations. That's correct. 
Very nice, very nice. And then uh, Michael, next one. And everyone's got too much work to do. We are all in the same boat. Um, I think it's be in the same or similar situation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, good. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, and then um, and Jasmine, you're next. Uh, a manager must know how to build rapport with their team. Okay. So this I one, just... Okay. just a pronunciation, sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, Jasmine. But this one actually comes from a French word, which is rapport. But we, in English, we say rapport. So the T is silent because in French, the last letter is typically silent. So just rapport. Okay. Rapport. Yeah, rapport. Mm -hmm. No tea. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean, Jasmine? Uh, develop trust, liking, and uh, friendship with someone. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, two rounds of using these words. Okay, so you want to use them in your own sentence. You can pick, you can pick whichever ones you want. Okay, this one this one, this one, okay, just use it. And you're going to just say one sentence with one of the words, and then we will do, you know, Emily, Michael, Jasmine, and then again, Emily, Michael, Jasmine, okay? So Emily, can you use one of these expressions with your own ideas? I was complaining about uh, harmony, uh, and I really felt uh, that uh, sound engineer uh, got under my skin. Great, fantastic, great, great expression right there. He got under your skin. Okay, good. Uh, Michael. Um, um, for example, if we have uh, a team building session, mm -hmm. uh, it's a great time for uh, crossing the divide yes. inside your team. Exactly. You can understand everyone in the group. Good. Very nice. And uh, Jasmine? Yeah, um, for teacher, it's necessary to develop coping mechanism for students, for students, stress, and, uh, and, uh, for yeah. stress. <laughs> That's right, for stress, yes. To, to learn how to manage the stress, we have to develop coping mechanisms, that's correct. And Emily, mm -hmm. next one. We all, uh, we all watched the Olympic Games in Japan mm -hmm. and uh, all the sportsmen uh, got uh, too much uh, work um, in these Olympic Games. Uh, that's why they all uh, were in the same boat. That, that's a great example. Yes, they were all in the same boat. You know, they were all at the Olympics. They were in the same situation. Okay, same boat. Good. And uh, Michael? Uh, a manager uh, can um, build a uh, rapport hmm. um, in with uh, his, his or her team. Uh, when he started to hear everyone in uh, his or her team. That's right. That's right. When you listen, when you listen, you build rapport. That's a great. And then uh, Jasmine. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, um, uh, in the workplace, uh, it's important to cross the divide uh, with my colleague in the competition. That's right. You got to cross the divide. If not, you can have um, a lot of conflict. Okay, next one. Okay, we're going to follow the same order. Okay, so it's going to be uh, Emily, Michael, and Jasmine. Okay, and then just, you know, look at the sentence here okay and then you want to match one of these words in the red box with what with this one right here okay the ones that is 
that's highlighted. Okay. So Emily, let's start with you. Uh, freeze out. Uh, I think that it's uh, C. My colleagues keep excluding me from uh, discussions. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can do it like you can. That's a good one. Okay. Next one, uh, Michael. Give off. Um, uh, it's uh, mm, uh, give off. Give off. Uh, maybe, um, uh, maybe D about. Mm, that's, that, that one's a little bit different. So for example, let's say you have uh, someone who's, a, you know, their face is like this. They give off uh, an aggressive kind of, uh, you know, uh, vibe. Okay, maybe B. <laughs> exactly, yes. I think he's just shy, but he can emit or produce a snobbish vibe. That's right. Yeah. Emit is to project. Okay, is give off just to project. Great. And um, Jasmine, next one. Uh, point out. I choose D. My boss never freezes my work, but he's always clear to draw attention to my mistakes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Good. Okay. And uh, Emily. Put off. Uh, she keeps postponing important phone calls. That's right. Postpone is kind of, yeah. Put to put off it means you procrastinate. You put off. Okay, so now it's it's going to be a, a similar but exercise to use this vocabulary. Try to use it as much as possible. Okay, so and here we have the same expressions here. Okay, put off. Okay, points out. Okay, I have a good uh, coping mechanism. Okay, that's a different one. Okay, but it's a good. It's just this example. I give, I give the wrong impression to other people. You can say give wrong impression, or you can also say I give off. You can also say this, give off the wrong impression, or I give off a different vibe. Okay, mm -hmm. so the, the example here is, for example, you will read this one, and then you will agree, you will give a number. Number one is agree, I agree, and so this is agree, Five is disagree. And then you explain. When you explain, I want you to use this as much as possible. So for example, I tend to put off difficult tasks and conversations. So for me, I would say it is, uh, I would put it a three on that, okay? Because I'm not super direct. You know, sometimes I let time uh, you know, um, fix it, but uh, I also don't put it off, put things off till the last moment. So I'm not a procrastinator, but I am, I, I'm also not, uh, you know, I'm not the kind of person who does everything very, very early. So I think um, for this one, it's a three. So you see, I explained it, but I used put off in my answer. Okay, so I want you to do that right now with your partner, these four. Okay, agree, disagree, and why. Okay. All right. So let's, okay. So I'll work with Emily on this one. Okay. And then um, Jasmine, you can work with uh, Michael on this one. Okay. So join your partner for this discussion. All right, young student. All right, young students, let's be very professional um, on this one, okay? We need to be very professional. We get to be very busy, okay? So the first one, I tend to put off difficult tasks and conversations. Young lady, can you tell me if you <laughs> agree or disagree? I mean, I like uh, more or less uh, four. Uh, because I think that in some cases, it's good to 
tent. Uh, it's good to tend, uh, or to it's good. Put off. Yeah, it's good to put off difficult tasks and conversations. But in some cases, you just like can't do it. You can't put it off. So when when is it not possible to put off? I think with your family members. Yeah. With your family members, it's better to be direct. Yeah. I see. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Okay, that's uh, that's a, that's a good answer. I definitely think uh, you get a point for that. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so the next one, number two. I don't mind if a colleague uh, points out my mistakes. Uh, I think it's five. Absolutely disagree. Oh, you don't. So you do mind. Yeah, I do mind. And I think that we need to be very careful with that because some people think that, oh, it's always good like to point out um, uh, some mistakes that they see, but maybe through our perspective, uh, we see it differently and we need to treat others the way we want to be uh, treated. Uh, treat treated. Yeah, treated. And in this case, I think that we need to pay attention to it. Interesting. Interesting. I agree with you. you know, I, 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 I like to know what my mistakes are, but it's about how people do it. You know, if you make a mistake and somebody like a grammar says, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Bad mistake, bad mistake, bad, 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 bad. Yeah. You know, then you're like, hey, 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 you know, it's okay. Oh, but, God. but it's like, oh, okay, yeah. If someone says it in a nice way or they say it after in a nice, you know, friendly, diplomatic way, then it can be helpful. But I agree with you that it can sometimes, um, it's not good. So, yeah. N no, number three. Why don't you do number three, please, young lady? I have good coping mechanisms uh, for stressful situations. Mm, I think here, uh, number one, I absolutely agree. Because I think that I know a lot and um, um, even with my uh character mm -hmm. it's possible to find a way uh for stressful situations so and yeah, i have one question okay sorry sorry continue yeah yeah go ahead okay. where did you learn to to build those uh <laughs> mechanisms i've learned it through my life and of course i cope with my parents uh, as every kid uh, copies uh, their parents. And uh, in this situation, I think that it's better not to stress off about anything else in this uh, world. Not to be stressed out. Yeah, not to be stressed out about anything in this world because the life is short and we really need to enjoy this life. Wow. Matthew, yes, you, you should be a psychologist. <laughs> no, thank you. You should be a psychologist because you understand. You understand the mind. Okay, great. So uh, number number four. Can you sometimes I give the wrong or sometimes I give off the wrong impression to other people. Mm, who knows? Here it's maybe three because we are so different that it's really hard uh, to be always good for everybody. And- um, But do you do, when people first meet you, do they, do you think they see you differently than how you really are, than the way you really are? I'm sure that not because I worked for it. I mean, I, uh, worked uh, for like this feeling for people mm -hmm. that I show exactly who I am. Oh, wow. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Great, great. So uh, yeah, so you did a lot of really, so I'm gonna, uh, here in the in my grade book, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna put a good grade for you. <laughs> Thank you. Here, 100, so you you passed, you passed. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank Congrat you. Congratulations, yes. All right, everyone. All right, everyone. Okay, great. So next one, let's talk about behaviors that can cause problems between people at work. Okay, so behaviors. So, um, so that's the next one. Okay, so since maybe you already watched the video, okay, we're not going to predict, but we're just going to talk about what behaviors, what actions, what uh, things that people do, you know, can cause problems, you know, at work, okay, between people, okay, good. So let's uh, let's go around, okay. So uh, Emily, what's one one example of a behavior that can ca cause problems between people at work? Uh, I think if someone uh, is very emotional and uh someone loves to scream yes and uh, in this case uh, they have a big ego and they're selfish and they want to put you into the box and maybe to get some energy from you That's and right. to show you that you are not the best one but we just need to understand that we are all the best and we need to work hard to become the best uh, version of ourselves. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's very good psychological advice. Very good, you know, psychology. I'm sure, did you study psychology, Emily? Yes, yeah, I did. <laughs> you can tell. We can tell that you know a lot about psychology. Yeah, you have to be strong because, uh, like Emily said, there can be a lot of... Uh, they call them energy vampires. Yes. They just want to take your energy, you know, and, but you have to be strong. Good. Very nice, Emily. So number two, uh, Jasmine, tell us. Um, I think uh, some people put off difficult tasks uh, or complaint in the work or in, in efficient, inefficient. Mm -hmm. And so why, why is complaining a bad thing at work? I think complaining will uh, make a, will make a not friendly uh, atmosphere and uh, it will put, uh, uh, put, uh, put everyone's mood down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think complaint, uh, uh, couldn't solve uh, anything. That's right. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you're right. It just uh, kills the mood. It's very, it's, uh, and the atmosphere. Yeah, that's true. I agree with you, Jasmine. That's gr great idea. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, Michael, let's go with you. Uh, it's number one. Yeah, about uh, behavior. Behaviors, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think the first of all is um, arrogant behavior mm. and um, all kind of harassment, for example, and uh, the modern uh, modern thing, mm. and um, bullying, bullying, Bull yeah, bullying, and uh, is uh, maybe bullying is more important in school and the university, but uh, I see in my work and uh, my previous work. Mm, some of people start to bullying, start start bullying mm, to each other, to people who uh, who more weight. Yes. yes. And so, why 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 do why are some people bullies? Why why are they like that? I think is um, they think is fun <laughs> oh wow and um, and uh, of, of course it's a big mistake that's right yeah 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 they uh yeah yeah, yeah. So, some of them think they're fun some of them are 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 scared you scared. know <laughs> like scared they had like bad experience like other people were bullies to them maybe parents or other brothers or other people and so then they do it to others. 
yeah. you know, it's kind of, and, or they're, you know, they, yeah, they, they are not right with themselves. They are insecure and they will, they feel more powerful if they, if they bully others, you know, so it's self-esteem and uh, confidence problem, but you're right. It is, it is a big problem, Michael. And we, that's the problem we need to fix in the world. Okay, many, many problems we need to fix. But right now we're gonna to go to the, to the video. So if you had time before you know, uh, to watch it, then it will help you. But if you didn't have time, no problem. They will use the same uh, vocabulary that we learned right now. And the way we're going to work this is um, I'm gonna watch a little bit, maybe one minute of watching and then discussion. So you will, you know, uh, ask some questions and also explain what you heard. Okay. So this was in, so we're going to go here. And if you go right here, then you will see that this is the next one. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Okay. So let's just watch here and um, try to catch what they say. <laughs> I remember once working with a woman who found it really frustrating that someone in her office loudly ate rice around lunchtime every day and her metal fork would constantly be hitting against the bowl. And she was so annoyed by it that she was actually going to go out and buy a wooden fork for this person. When you think we spend half our waking life at work, if there's someone who really gets under your skin, it's crucial to cross that divide. Okay, good. So Emily, what did this guy say? Oh, he shared that someone ate uh, rice very loudly and it bothers uh, another lady and <laughs> she bought the fork for this person. And what was, what material was the new fork? Oh, uh, I didn't catch it, but I think maybe it was a uh, wood or plastic or something. That's correct, wooden. Wooden, yeah. Wooden. <laughs> Making a lot I of could, but I just like it. <laughs> wooden. Wooden. Okay, yeah, that's right. So he shared that story. And then he also said it's very important. It's crucial to, uh, you know, to cross the divide. Rice is a good thing. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Great. So let's continue watching here. Okay. <laughs> We probably all worked with people we don't like. But really? You hate them? You actually hate them? That takes an enormous amount of energy and it makes little or no difference to them. If they've really done something totally illegal or horrendous, there's probably much better remedies for it. Most of the time we find that people want to avoid having a conversation with the other person because they dislike them. But if you don't talk about it, it won't get better by itself. So some people try to put it off and develop coping mechanisms, but it rarely makes the situation much better. And soon it's years down the line and you're still in the same boat, hating this person. It doesn't have to be like this. A bit of short-term pain, i.e. a difficult, but open and honest conversation with the person you dislike can bring a long-term gain. Okay, so uh, Jasmine, can you tell us about uh, this tip number one? What did, they say? What did he say? Um, the man said some people uh, will put it off to solve, to solve the uh, relationship with others. They don't think of any uh, uh, mechanism to cope with others. Uh, but uh, uh, he suggests that uh, in a few years later, uh, they will find the, the, they are in the same boat. <laughs> that's right that's right yeah so it is uh really to face the problem to fix the problem so instead some people just put it off like oh no problem no problem no 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 and then after after some time you know you can have some problems so yeah the first one is face face the problem okay don't put it off and don't turn away okay next one okay for michael 
we get people telling us we're intimidating when we think we're really cuddly or telling us that we're shy when we consider ourselves thoughtful and serious. So think about what you give off to other people. Here's Ali. He's very bright. He's quite young. He's very highly educated. He's just got a great job. So he's sent to a conference. And because as well as being bright, he's rather modest, he decides that he'll keep quiet pretty much and he'll just observe what's going on and listen to people who are more experienced. The people around him who've heard how bright he is and how well educated see him being a bit restrained and a bit withheld and start to think mm, he's a bit aloof, he doesn't rate us, he thinks he's too good for us and so they start to freeze him out. We end up with a situation where everybody's misunderstanding each other and nobody is getting the benefit of their different abilities and experiences. So this one's complicated, it's not easy, but um, what did you understand from this, uh, Michael? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, not of all, and um, uh, it's a um, movie is about person who uh, who is very shy, mm. and um, then uh, he went to a conference. And people around him uh, start to tell him that is not interesting. That is not. Uh, right <laughs> and um, and uh, he started to feel unhappy <laughs> maybe yeah, yeah that's, no. true. that's true that's true yeah so it's about this person you know he saw himself as uh you know oh i'm a i'm a i'm a thoughtful person i'm reserved i'm you know polite and i will just listen to people but people in the conference thought, oh, he's uh, arrogant. He doesn't want to talk to us. He's mm -hmm. closed, you see? So sometimes it's uh, some people, you know, they think, oh, they think, oh, I am, I'm a good listener. But other people will say, oh, he's arrogant because he doesn't want to talk to us, you see? So it's kind of, it's about the narrative and it's about checking the story, what story do you tell yourself and is it the same story that other people have you okay so kind of uh that's a good one yep yeah, yeah but but uh, you got the, the basic things so that's very good michael now last one for emily tip three ask questions and seek to understand the other person's viewpoint then show them you've understood their viewpoint by summarizing back to them what they've said an incredibly powerful little tool for building rapport. Too often, people just try to persuade others of their case. But if you show that you're open to listening to the other person and genuinely want to understand where they're coming from, you'll have a much more constructive conversation. I remember once in a mediation where one person shouted at the other, you're a pathological liar. Now, I don't have a problem with someone saying that if that's how they feel. But I do actually with how it's worded. If you tell someone they're a liar, they'll automatically disagree. We all would. But if you calmly point out that on this occasion and this occasion they've lied to you, you can have a conversation about it without them getting as defensive. Okay, very good. So, um, so Emily, tell us about this one. Yeah, I understand it because, like, for example, in NLP, you really need to know how to negotiate and how to create a rapport. Uh, it's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Then you gesticulate in the same way and uh, you understand uh, what this person uh, wants to share. Mm -hmm. And uh, you look very understandable, uh, understanding for them. And uh, I agree uh, with this point. Um, if someone lied in some situations, Mm. It doesn't mean that this person is a liar. Right. It just uh, means that in these occasions, uh, this person lied. Mm. And it could be like a lot of things, uh, why it happened, why uh, this person done it. In this case, like we need to, uh, to really create a good air between our colleagues. And yeah, then we will solve all the problems. Wow, great, great ideas. 
Okay, awesome. So now we have two, two more conversation exercises that we will do right here. Okay, so the first one for about uh, four minutes right here will be uh, this one right here, okay? Um, this, okay? So of course, if you wanna do some homework, you can do this, this homework right here. You can do it after maybe tomorrow to refresh the vocabulary or maybe on the weekend, if you have uh, 10 minutes, you can do it, okay? And then you can also do this right here where you watch the final part that we didn't watch, okay? And then you just correct the sentences. These sentences are incorrect and you have to correct them. Sometimes it's, it's a word, just one word that you have to change, okay? But we're going to do these questions and then we're going to do the role play, okay? So uh, uh, first, so for this one, number nine, okay, number nine, uh, breakout rooms, okay, uh, Emily and Michael, and I will work with Jasmine, okay, so. Hi, Jasmine. Hello? Can you hear me, Jasmine? Oh, you're mic. There we go. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So, uh, so Jasmine, what kinds of bad habits at work really get under your skin? Under your skin? Mm. Uh... I think bad habits is uh, uh, complaint and inefficient and not uh, speak loudly with others, <laughs> have a not uh, a friendly uh, attitude to others uh, or uh, make some uh, pressure uh, on others. I think this will uh, put under my skin. That's right. Wow. So, so you could say not it puts under my skin, but it gets under my skin. Yeah. yeah. It gets under your skin. Yeah, that's true. And how do good managers build rapport with their team? What are some examples that managers can do to build rapport? With their team? How do uh, I think uh, a good manager must uh, uh, think about questions at uh, others' situations and uh, uh, understand others uh, and uh, uh, have trust with others, trust others, um, and more uh, efficient. Mm -hmm. They have to be more efficient. With their time, you mean, or in what ways? The processes? And not efficient as Understanding, efficient. Yeah, understanding, not efficient. I, yeah. <laughs> so efficient is when you do something uh, faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> but they have to be more, more, uh, more understanding. That's right. That's very important. Yeah. And uh, have you or any of your colleagues ever been frozen out at work? That means frozen out means they that people don't look at someone. Like let's yeah, say, yeah. and they're like, oh no no no, okay no no, I don't want to talk to you. Did ha have you ever yeah, seen yeah. that at school or in the university or at work? Uh, my colleague. Uh, I just told you in my office there is a colleague. Uh, she's not friendly with others, so other people don't like her. Uh, so uh, they don't like uh, cooperation with her. So I think they uh, they uh, always freeze out with her. Uh, but they always uh, freeze but, freeze her out. Uh, they always freeze her out. Uh, but just uh, just a uh, uh, short times. 
we will find uh, uh, she can finish her work uh, 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 good. Mm, well, can she can her. finish uh, her work uh, uh, task well, so uh, this situation will uh, not will not go on. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. And can um, can you uh, give me an example of a time where you crossed the divide with someone at work? You disagreed, and but you crossed the divide, and you understood them in the end. Ah, uh, yeah. Once I participated a uh, competition with my uh, colleague uh, in the uh, about how uh, we have different opinions about how to take uh, take videos uh, take how to take videos, um, but uh, all the time uh, we talk about it uh, friendly. Uh, in the end, we <laughs> uh, let a uh, expert okay very good everyone all right the last one last one right here okay so it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be uh, a role play okay so i'm going to send you this um this picture right here okay in the chat mm -hmm. okay it's going to be in the chat it's a, it's um and then i'm going to explain to them to you what it is okay so, so this is the role play okay so the important thing with role plays is to get into your character okay so maybe so there you're just practicing as if it was real mm -hmm. definitely want to practice as, as if it's real just imagine it's a real situation okay all right so everyone's here great mm, okay so you'll have student a and student b okay i'll mm -hmm. work and uh okay so this is kind of your role play so i guess we can do um let's do number one okay so we don't have time for both okay so uh like let's say um michael you'll be student a i'll be student b okay so read your read your section okay and then uh emily you'll be student a and jasmine you'll be student b Okay, mm -hmm. basically, basically, student A, you've worked in the job for 15 years, and the and so you're older, and the young colleague, okay, which is student B, is getting under your skin. They um, they're very loud. They they're on Facebook, on Instagram all day, TikTok. They talk. They they jump in. They interrupt. They ask many questions. They talk about personal things, and you've had enough. You need to talk to them because you know and student b you started the new job it's an open office okay uh you share the desk with an older colleague which is student a and uh the older colleague doesn't like you and they started freezing you out okay they just ignore you oh i don't know you i don't know you okay mm -hmm. you think you are open friendly relaxed last job was very laid back very relaxed okay and so you are trying to learn from student a from the old colleague okay and um okay you want to learn from them but and then with the social media you you do use it but it's only when you finish your work okay so this is this is who you want to be these are your characters okay so it's going to be very short so just pretend that it's a real situation okay Maybe two, two or um, yeah, maybe three minutes. Okay, so maybe a quick one, just to practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Michael. So let's let's have this conversation. So, uh, Michael, what's what's the what's the what's the situation? So, you know, start the conversation with me. Yes, uh, you. Uh... You, are you a student B or uh, another person in, in my situation? Oh, I'm I'm a student B. I'm the new, the, the new, new young <laughs> yeah the new young worker, and you are the old experienced. Okay, okay. David, uh, you are young, <laughs> and I am working in uh, this company for fifteen years. I, I like you and I, I love uh, your education. I love your soft and hard skills. 
you really you really a big uh, you really have a big opportunity to work in our company and um, uh, and improve your skills and improve your um, and improve your salary but we uh, we have uh, a common space we have a common um, atmosphere in our office and if you uh, if you see uh, everyone uh, make your job near <laughs> your table <laughs> and, and and i uh, i can uh, uh, see you that uh, a lot of things what you do in your work uh, is not correct for your friends for your colleagues near you and if you want i uh, i can uh, i can see uh, your mistake <laughs> light mistake is not a big mistake you are a really good employer but some some things some tips you need to correct for um, for make your uh, for make uh, your and we can uh, we can win win situation <laughs> Is this remember, Michael, it's a, you are a good employee. Employee, sorry, employee. Okay, well, thank thank you for telling me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm, but it's just I have so much energy, and I'm so positive. I'm a very positive guy, so I like to talk to people, and I like to create a nice atmosphere, you know. And it's an open office, so I I thought that it was good if I talk to everyone and be yeah. very social yeah 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 yes i agree with you it's it's you are not not only positive person you are very creative person you you are um, you are and your um, friends in in your social group are very uh are very um, uh, creative people and I'm not great people. I make my <laughs> my plan. I make my uh, things uh, every day, and um, we we can uh, transformate our atmosphere, our offers for uh, for make your for make more positive, for make more creative. That you and your friends, uh, young friends, <laughs> uh, feel better with us, with our old guys, <laughs> old school guys. <laughs> That's right. Great, so very good, Michael, just a couple of corrections. So not transformate, but transform. Transform. You can transform, you know, and also not I'm a people, you know, but I'm a person. So yes. many, many people and one person. Okay. Okay, well, great. Yo, well, thank you, thank you, you know, and so I, I, I you know, thank you for telling me, now I understand your position that, and and um, so what what is the next step? What next step? We can make a lunch or maybe a <laughs> supper in the bar and make uh, make small talk about this problem. You got it. Perfect. All right. All right. Great, everyone. So we went a little bit after, but we needed an extra five minutes so that you can practice everything. Okay, so I hope you don't mind. And so great, great, we covered everything. So it was a great lesson, I think. So just to let you know, just to remind all of you that, uh, you know, the, the, the reason why it works so well, it's because it's the system. And mm -hmm. the system involves you now kind of doing the work before, if you have time, then practicing, and then the review after. So, uh, so I recommend maybe tomorrow or on the weekend, refresh it because now you have it in your mind. You, you spoke very well and uh, you use the, but if you don't use them in the next three days, the mind will forget it. And they'll be like, yeah. and if you read it, you will remember it, but in a conversation, you won't be able to use it. So it's, uh, it's and it's psychology. We have short-term memory, long-term memory, and if we don't review it, we forget it. So congratulations to all of you. Great, great lesson. And, uh, and we'll all see you next week. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Next week. Bye-bye.